Hi guys, Bambi for Spurred On. We just nicked a last minute goal to stay in the cup, two all home to Leicester. How do you feel about it? It feels like a win. It shouldn't be, but it feels like a win, you know what I mean? I mean, we we were amazing the first half. We were all over them, I thought. I mean, we didn't, we didn't make clear-cut chances, which was something that we definitely need to improve on, which we sort of did in the second half, but Kane coming on as well, he, he didn't get any clear-cut chances. I mean, we got out of jail there, basically, yeah. with, uh, with, with the penalty. But we were all over them the first half. I, could, I couldn't believe they were 2-1 up. It's, it was, is, is that a bigger picture question in that we make a we, we get a lot of possession in pretty much all our games, especially at the lane where teams come and put 11 behind the ball all the time. Is the difference now, you know, we have this team and they play well, they know each other's games, but we don't have what I would describe as, a, you know, a world-class player yet. I think, you know, Ericsson, Kane and a few others could potentially be world-class, but someone who can do something out of nothing and get that second goal where we need it and calm us down. Yeah, well, I think that's where Kane usually steps in. Obviously, he's not on the pitch. I just don't think Son's the right person for it. I think he's a good player. Mm -hmm. I just don't, I don't think he can hold that role. Mm -hmm. We didn't have anyone to aim for at all, you know. Kieran Trippier had a great game. He's putting some great balls into the box, but... There was no one on the end of it, no one to aim for. So it's, they, actually, we used the wing-backs really well today, yeah. especially first half. We had uh, Rose and Trippier bombing on fantastically, but like, no one to aim for. No okay. one to aim for. And everyone's saying we need a striker, we need to buy a backup striker, but not many deals to be done in January, really. Have you got a name on the top of your head? I mean, obviously, Berahino is an old one, but I don't think Berahino is the man you're going to throw balls into the box for, really. Yeah, I think he had a lot of hype during the summer. I don't, I mean, obviously, he's been on, played on the bench a lot. Uh, at the start of this season. I don't know if he uh, can live up to the hype that he did have before. I think he's dropped off. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's tough, isn't it? Everyone's saying, let's get the strike, but no one seems to know who that wanna, striker is. I don't want to pay a premium price for someone that will regret. Yeah. You know, I don't want to, I don't want a Bobby Soldado. I don't, yeah. I don't want that. I don't want another repeat of that. So, uh, All right. and um, more importantly than that though, Leicester home again, Wednesday predictions you think we'll do and won't be easy. I was saying before the game, it's, it's such an interesting psychological test. I haven't known it before where you play the same team straight away after another. It's, it's, it's really interesting. So. If they if they, if they'd have beat us tonight, I think they'd have beat us on, on, on Wednesday as well. Now we've drawn, I think I think we'll go and nick it. Think I think it'll be close. Yeah. I think Mahrez will be back as well. Yeah. And uh, even though we'll have full squad, they'll have Mahrez, they'll have a few more few, few more of their uh, regulars back in. I think it'll be a one nil. One nil. I think the momentum is a good point though, very good psychological point. Let us know what you think the score will be against Leicester on Wednesday in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Cheers, mate.